Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are back with the eighth episode of the new Sawboat build series here on my channel. In this video, we're going to be working on getting a hydrofill on the boat, plus getting some of the emergency systems like the lights, beacon finder, and a few other things in the boat. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified of upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So with that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So we are back with the next episode of the new Sawboat build series. We've gotten quite a lot done and we're nearly at the end of this build series. But there's a few more things that we need to get done. Now the first thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding hydrofoil system to this boat. Uh, now in real life the Thunder Child 2 does have a hydrofoil system so we're going to be adding some in here. Uh, seeing if we can just get a little bit more speed out of the creation. Along with that we're going to be adding some more things. So we're going to be getting the searchlights all connected. These are going to be rotating searchlights so there's some switches inside and we'll get them turning left and right. Uh, we'll also get some emergency lights going on. Uh, I'm not too sure where we're going to be putting them just yet. But we're going to get some emergency lights going on. I have a nice little mic controller we're going to be using for that. We're just going to get an emergency beacon in here, a beacon finder in here, and we're going to get some deck lighting on and a few other things. So let's jump straight into it and get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add the hydrofoil system. So I was thinking of just adding some simple rudders. We're going to use the rudders over here and we're going to place them somewhere underneath the hull. So I was thinking maybe over here for one and let's do another one over here possibly. Um, actually, let's go a little bit further back. So possibly over here. So what this will do is theoretically it will just lift the hull out of the water towards the rear uh, and hopefully just enable us to get a little bit more speed out of the boat. So we've got that in, double check everything is facing the right way and we're going to go and paint everything. So we're just going to do a simple paint job. Uh, we can get everything connected. So let's go with some electricity. We're going to go for the engine room electricity, which is this one. We'll get that connected. So one, two, three and four and then let's just get a simple constant number and we'll get that in and we'll put like a 0 0.3 or 0 0.2 or something on it so let's get a constant number come into where we have all of our logic and let's go and grab some blue place it over here and let's go with a 0 0.3 okay just something nice uh and let's add that in okay perfect so one two three and four okay let's spawn that in Let's see if we get a little bit of a performance increase. I know in economy mode we get around 40 at the moment and then I think we get about 50 in sports mode. So let's just increase our RPS here. Roll up. Cool, take off. So we're in sports mode if I'm correct right now. So let's be... Okay, so we're... Wow. Okay, so we got up to nearly about 70. And you can see how much more is out of water at the back. Okay, whoa, we're doing really well there. Uh, let's just throw it into eco mode. So around 40. Hovering around 40. So it doesn't seem to improve the economy mode too much. But in performance mode we really get about what 15, 15 more knots out of it. But overall, yeah, not too bad. Doesn't cost us that much uh, to get that system in. And I think it's helping quite a bit. And hopefully it will also help when we go over some waves and things. Great. So that's the hydrofoil system. Obviously, you could get more futuristic with it. We could lower it more, or get the boat higher out the water. But I think uh, for our use case scenario, that is perfect. So with that done, let's move on to the rotating lights. Now, I've already put the lights on there and I've already got the actual pivot hidden underneath there that's connecting to it. And you can see I've also got the buttons here and I've got two. I've got a light here for search lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that onto a little mic controller so we can rotate it. And what I was thinking is for the searchlights at the top, if I rotate it left, I only want the left one to rotate. And when I want it to move, rotate right, I only want the right one to rotate. So we're going to get some a smart little system in here to get that all working. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into the mic controller. We're going to do rotating search light and deck lights. Okay, so that's what we're going to have at the moment. Uh, logic wise we can get a composite in that's going to go from our panel and we'll need an out so we're going to need number and we're going to need number so that's going to be for the left pivot and this one will be for the right pivot 
And we will also need two buttons and this will be search lights. And this one will be deck lights because we'll do the deck lights in a few minutes. Cool, so this is gonna be an out, this will be an out, this one is an out, out, and that's in, cool. We just need to extend this, so just make a little more space. And we can just go and put that on, cool. Okay, let's go into the logic and let's just separate everything out like we usually do. Great, so the deck lights will be pretty simple. It's just going to be a simple read. So if we just go and grab a simple read, and that's going to allow us to turn the deck lights on. So that will do, let's do two for that one. Uh, we also need a switch for our search lights. So we can just copy and paste that and we'll put this one as one. So that will be allowing us to turn the switch lights on. Great. And then we also need the right pivot and left pivot. Now, how we're going to get this working is we're going to use an up and down counter. We're going to use two of them. Okay, so one and two. One will control the other one. So let's see that one to that one. Cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get another two reads and we're going to say this one is three and this one is four. So that's going to read when we press the left or press the right push button on the actual panel itself. Okay, so let's go. This one will, let's do three will be left. So let's do, actually we need to just hold for two seconds. Go to where we have this and as I said, I have the pivots underneath here. So if we go all the way down, you'll see the pivots. So positive is going left. So we just need to figure that one out. So positive is left, so that's fine. And then left there and then right. Actually, we could just use one of these up down counts. We don't need two. Okay, there we go. So we got that and we're just gonna grab two clamps and that's going to allow us to actually just go and stop it from rotating more. So we'll just get two of those. Okay, so two clamps, we'll configure the clamps in a few seconds, but let's just get this all other stuff connected. Okay, up down counter. We can now say that the maximum value will be let's do oh, let's do one and negative one. That will allow it to rotate completely. Uh clamp, yes please. Increments, let's go with 0 0.05. We'll see how much it reacts to that. If we want to make it quicker or slower, we can increase or decrease that. Then we can go over here. So we've got left pivot. So left pivot, we only want to go from zero to one. Whereas the right pivot, we only want it to go from negative one to zero, okay? So that's how we clamping it just over there. What we can do now is we can go and copy this and we can save it. Cool, jump into our creation, go and find it. There it is right over there. Go and place it underneath in our logic, in our hull here, done. We're gonna go to the panel itself and we're going to give it its numbers. So search lights is one, deck lights is two, left is three and right is four great make sure we've got some electricity on this so this is going to go and connect over to our bridge systems which is over there that's perfect uh, we can also connect that over to our searchlight over there searchlight over there searchlight over there searchlight over there and also down to our pivots in the floor great so that's done and now we can get the composite from the panel over to our mic controller and then from our mic controller we can go into the left pivot which is down there right pivot over there search light which is that one that one that one and that one and then deck lights will do later on okay so that should in theory be working now so let's go and test it out so we're going to jump on the creation and let's jump into the interior key button to turn everything else on uh, let's go and get our search lights on so you can see all four of those lights are working and in theory if we just turn them off let's go left so you can see that one's moving left how quick is it okay it seems to be very quick so we're going to play around with the settings there and let's go right okay so that one is going the wrong direction so that's fine so we just need to fix that. It also seems to be going too quickly. So I'm just gonna go and double check that we have definitely got push on, which we should do. Yep, it is on push, that's perfect. Uh, we are then gonna go to our mic controller and we're just gonna go and see what were the up and down. So 0 0.05, so let's change that to 0, 0 0.1. Should be fine with that, okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to go and invert the number that's coming out of here. So we're just gonna use a function block Pretty simple. Like there's 
there's so many different ways I could have resolved this. I'm just going with this kind of like quick and easy way. So negative X, that's the easiest way for me to do it. Okay, and that should in theory be working. Let's go and check the sensitivity of it. See if it is still very sensitive. If it's too sensitive, we can write, we can adjust the sensitivity on the actual pivots themselves. So let's see left. Well, that looks perfect actually. Yeah, that looks great. Let's try right. So you can see that one's gonna go and get straightened up. Yep, and the other one. Cool, let's turn the lights on. So you can see, oh yeah, look at that search light there. That is perfect. And then when I stop there, this one rotates. So I'm actually really happy with that. I might change how bright they are because they are very bright. Okay, uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to get some emergency lights. Now, as I said earlier, I'm not too sure where I want them. I don't know if I want them just over here or if I want them just over here. Over here could be another option for us is to have the emergency lights there. That could work or we could go with up here. Which could also be another option. So I think let's go with up here for now uh, and we'll see if we want to change that. But I think that should be OK. So let's just fill this in. So we're just going to paint that. And while we're up here, we can paint this, this, and uh, let's go down, paint everything else. I have unpainted inside the interior. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, the other thing, I'm going to do a small little trick here. I like to use beacons. Uh, so let's grab a beacon. I like to add a beacon on top of them just to make them look like a make them look pretty cool so you can imagine this is going to be on top of it but the thing is you can't actually put that on top it won't let you place it down so there's a trick here you can place it one block higher and then you can drop it down onto it the only thing you need inside your creation is a simple rail system so if we get a linear track base uh, we find somewhere empty inside the creation it can be absolutely anywhere it doesn't really matter to be honest uh, we can go inside here literally just place one of them down, get the linear track over here, place that. So just like, just simply like that. And what we're going to do now is we can go and get a constant number like that, place that there. We can go and tell it that's going to be one. You connect that, you give that some electricity. And then what we do is you go outside of the creation. So let's just try and find a hole here. So we're going to go like literally just over there, fill that hole up. Uh, we actually do need to get rid of these lights, unfortunately. So what I can do is I can just go and delete those for now. And what we can do now is just go literally across like that, across like that, go underneath here, one, two, and there we go. So we just want to have that all done. Great, that done. And we can go and get the beacons. Doesn't matter what color they are for now, we can change the color. Place them down, delete the blocks underneath it. Very important. And then we can go and get our lights. So we're just going to have to put the light in again, change its color. Okay, so that is all done. And go and paint it. So we're going to go additive. Let's go with a nice bright blue. Cool, so that's done. And let's go with a darkish blue for these. Okay, so what's going to happen is as it spawns in, these are going to drop down. Uh, we need a switch or something to go and turn that on. So what I was thinking is we've got deck lights. Let's maybe rename that. Instead of doing deck lights, let's do emergency lights. Okay, and that's what's going to go and switch it on. So we can go to our mic controller and go over to that. And we can go one, two, three, four make sure it's got electricity so we're gonna go over here one two three four cool so that should all be working now so we can go and test it see if the emergency lights are actually gonna work and we also need to add the mic controller for the emergency lights so they flash instead of just being constantly on so emergency lights cool so you can see the emergency lights and what they look like now we just need to add the mic controller for them to flash so I actually have a, a mic controller that I use. So I'm just going to go and grab that. There we go. That's the one that I'm looking for. So let's go and place that inside our creation. 
Should have some space somewhere around here. So let's go with over there. We can then get, uh, I think we use, that uses composites. So and just go into it. Let's just double check it. What does it use? It uses a simple one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete that. Go back in. Delete that. And we're just going to go and get a simple button really to turn it on. So logic inputs. That's fine. Done. And we're going to get that connected. Perfect. Okay, so now we can go on to the deck lights, onto the inputs, and then left. So this is this one and this one. And then we can go on and connect the right one. Perfect. And that should be working. We can also add some lights on the side of the vessel if we want to also. Uh, even some of the back for more emergency lights, which is a cool. So emergency lights. And there we go. And now we have pretty much what have what those emergency lights are just on delays and the blinkers. So it starts blinking one side and then and then waits and then starts blinking the other one and keeps on doing that. So it's a very simple mic controller. Um, but I, I have one already done, so I don't want to do another one. Cool. So that is the emergency lights. The next thing we need to do is the emergency transponder system. So we're just going to just paint the issue at the top. Okay. So emergency transponder. So we need a beacon to start with. So we can grab that. Let's do a beacon over there. And we need a beacon finder. So we'll do that one over here. Yeah, let's do it up on the mast. Cool. So we've got that. We've got that. Make sure it's got some electricity. So bridge systems. There we go. And there we go. That's fine. And then the next thing we can do is let's see if we have a beacon finder cool so we have got a beacon finder that has been downloaded from the workshop this is actually done by acc original so if you want to go and check out his stuff uh, definitely go and do that this is a awesome little one it's pretty compact i haven't created my own one so i don't want to obviously go into the hassle of doing it so we're going to be using his his one is pretty cool uh, and it's pretty compact too so we're going to go and pretty much just go and take his take his mic controller off it and that's pretty much all we need from from his creation um cool so we can delete that let's go into here let's go and put the logic piece in and let's go and get everything connected up so uh cool so we have beacon we have all the different things here we can obviously go and turn things on cool locator yeah cool great okay so that is all working pretty happy with that uh yeah okay let's go and do the deck lighting next so the deck lighting that we need to do is i want to add some deck lighting just going along here at the bottom so we're going to start off with some indicators so we're going to get some indicator lights we're going to go and put those in so we're going to start with this grayish color uh let's go with one over here uh, let me just turn symmetry mode on first cool so we're going to go with one over there we'll skip four maybe one over actually let's there there oops there and then we need another one so we'll do another one over here we can yeah there we go that also just damages that but that's fine Okay, cool. Let's go and paint that. So orange, orange, orange. So we just got some lighting just over there. Pretty straightforward and simple for the lighting. And everything else is done on the other side. Check the painting in the interior. Painting is fine. Okay, let's go and color it. So we are going to go with a darkish blue, I was thinking. For the deck. There we go. So those lights there. So those are just like running lights in theory. So it should be pretty cool. Uh, we will also need some regular deck lights. So we're just going to go and grab a light here. And let's go and get some just normal deck lighting. So I was thinking of putting some lights maybe at the back here. So that just for this work area, uh, just so you can actually see around here. And then we will also need some lights for this back area. So we can do the rotating spotlights, I guess, just over here. So we can grab some pivots. So let's go pivot pivot and let's do yeah let's do something like that we could even put the other way around 
yeah something like that and uh, let's get a spotlight cool let's go with dark black and we could then just put them like that so those are going to rotate down towards the deck uh, which should be pretty cool okay so we've got that on we just need to of course go and get this connected to some electricity next so let's go over here let's go and connect this this that and that and let's go and connect all the little indicator lights so we can add another panel just over here to turn them on so if we go over there just make sure we take symmetry off and let's just add a simple composite panel just over here cool and we can go on to number two and we can do deck lights perfect and let's go and do that as a let's do a flip switch and let's go with channel number five okay because we can reuse that mic controller that we already have so we can go and get that connected and get that let's see composites get that connected over to this one and then that one where is it just over there we can just add another node onto it because we should still have space yep we do we have one more space there so that one is going to be actually the deck lights this time whereas this one was the emergency lights from earlier cool deck lights output great uh let's make sure it's an out go inside again grab another piece and this time it's number five number five connect it there done make sure that composite panel is definitely number five yes it is the other ones you want to make sure if you're not using them at the moment put them to none because they will interfere with anything else that you have on the channel one just be aware of that cool so we've got that all connected the last thing we need is just a constant number to go and move those rotating lights so i'm just going to go and add another constant number just over here on the side and we're going to go with like a 0.2 i think will be fine let me just check the rotation angle uh so we're going to go with negative 0.2 perfect take that grab it put it on that pivot that pivot spawn it in let's go and have a look Cool. so you can see those spotlights how they're facing downwards now so that's perfect we'll double check to see if that's the right angle we can always adjust that angle if we need to our lights are there our lights are there let's go inside our creation turn the power on deck lights on cool so we might want to angle that ever so slightly down our deck lights are working there and our deck lights on the side of the creation are working perfect uh, let's just go and see what this looks like at night time so pitch black yeah i probably want to change the strength of those this light is perfect and you can see the little lights along there yeah pretty cool so we just need to change the angle of that make it a little bit further down and we need to make it much darker so let's go onto it let's go onto our black you can see black is at 20 20 20. black is actually zero 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 so i'm going to change that to five five and five cool so that's a proper black and then we're going to go additive paint additive paint cool so that is a little better now and we'll hopefully illuminate the area uh, we can change the rotation angle we're going to go with 0.35 that should be cool and let's go and double check that now so the creation is just over there completely in the dark let's go and open that up great inside lights on lights on yeah you can see how much less bright and like obnoxious that is that is much easier to actually see you can look at it without getting completely blinded now which is pretty cool um we can obviously throw everything on our searchlights oh she's so bright oh, <laughs> let's turn the searchlights off um so you can see all that yeah looking pretty cool uh let's just move forward here let's actually go for a little bit of a drive navigation lights on I need to finish adding some more things on that panel but uh yeah not too bad i think it's looking pretty cool of our little deck lights on there not too bad at all cool and the last thing we need to do is we need to add the flares into the creation back into the workbench i'm gonna put flares here cool 
paint that. So we're going to have four on the other side. Cool. So a bunch of flares, a bunch of flares. Great. Uh, we don't need any electricity on them. They don't use electricity, which is fine. Uh, I've already got a little panel that we're going to be using for it. Uh, you can see there's a push button. There's another push button. And then we have along with that is going to be a number counter. So it's going to tell us how many we actually have left. So if we just go here, you can see everything is connected. Let's just make sure we have electricity on it. Okay, perfect, so electricity is there. Uh, we can go and create a little flare panel now. So my control editor, brand new one. Let's go with properties. We'll call this uh, four by two flare counter and launcher, for example. We'll need four nodes, so composite in from the panel. We will need a on off, perfect, and a on off. I actually need quite a few of those, to be honest. We're going to need about eight of those on offs, just thinking about it now. So let's go. And then it's pretty simple how to get these connected so they don't all fire off all of them at the same time. Uh, and you can use the same button to fire all of them, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to get all this moved out the way for now, and then we'll get it organized in a few seconds. So R1, uh, L4, L1, and L2, R2, R4, and L3. Cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a up down counter again. I keep on using the up down counters, but they, they just work. We're going to go into it. We're going to say that increments of one uh, starts at zero. Maximum is going to be four. Clamp it. We're going to get another one of those. And we're going to get some threshold gates. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to say if this one is one and one, if this one is two and two, this one is three and three, and this one is four and four. And we're going to copy that, paste it over here for this one. And what that does is it is what it's going to do is it's going to read the up and down counter and see if it's matching one, and then it's going to fire flare. See if it's matching two, it's going to fire flare, and so on. And that's pretty much how you do how you do this flare system. It's relatively easy. Uh, there's a little bit more logic that we need. We just need to go and read the composite from there. And to do that, we're just going to get two of the composite on offs. I'm going to say one, perfect. And we're going to go to this one and say two. So one will be the ones on the left. So that's going to go up. And that one's going to go to that one. Cool. And the last thing we need is actually, we need one more node. This is going to go back to the composite panel. And that's going to be for the number of the flare and how many we got left in theory. So we're going to have an output and we're going to come back here and we can now go and grab another two up down counters. Okay. So you can see this. Now we're just going to put this and say that this is actually starting at four. And then when you press them, this goes down instead, just like that. Okay. So it starts at four and then makes its way down. And then we're going to go and put that into a actual we're then going to send that back onto it and if i'm correct we should be able to let me just go and check what settings we have on the panel we're using binary or not so we're just using a number oh, that's really easy then okay so we can go back and tell my controller and we can simply just send that number into that so all we need to do is grab a right number put four channels connect that to the composite, connect that channel three, connect that channel four. And just like that, that's how, that's as simple as it is. Uh, we can go back into our properties, copy it, go and save it, exit out of here, go and find it, change its color, and we can go and stick it somewhere inside of our creation. So let's go and find some space in here. There we go. Let's go and get the composite. And we're going to go from the panel to our mic controller and then from the mic controller to our panel. Our panel's already got power, so I'm not really too worried. Uh, everything should be connected if I'm correct. So yeah, so three is smoke. And let's just double check. Hold on. 
So yeah, three, four, one, and two. So great. Okay. So let's go over here. We're going to make this smoke, 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 and smoke. And the other ones are illumination, which is perfect. We can then go and just get that connected. So we can go over here, we can say left one. Let's go and see if it's going to work. Go to there. Okay, you can see we've got four, four. If we fire a smoke, oink, it goes up. Perfect. Uh, how many did it fire? Okay, so you can see there's an issue. It fired all four of them. Okay, and there is a perfectly easy way to fix that. If you go into the mic controller, all we're going to do is we're just going to go and put a simple little, let's do pulse. Okay, so this takes toggle and sends it to push. So this means only one signal will ever go through. So we're going to get two of those. We're going to get one there, one there. There we go. And the other one goes there and over there. And this one goes over there and over there. So that way it only sends one pulse at a time instead of just quickly going one, two, three, four. Okay, so we can go and spawn that in again and test it and see if it's going to work. So it should fire one at a time this time. Power on. Sit here. Bunk three, that fired one smoke flare. Bunk three, that fired one illumination flare. Perfect. And if we go outside the creation, we should see them just up there. Cool. So that is that system all done. I'm pretty happy with that. We've got pretty much everything we need in here at the moment. Uh, we've got all of our lights, we've got our systems. The next thing and pretty much the last thing I think we need to worry about is going to be the cabin interior. So that's another thing we're going to be working on probably in the next episode. But I think that's a great place to end this episode off with. Hopefully you have enjoyed this and found some maintaining and informative as always. And let me know your comments in the video description below. Let me know what else you guys think we should be adding on. What do you think about the boat so far? And we'll see you in the next one.